Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome back. It's already November. Incredible, right? Now it's a season-changing time. The night becomes longer. The daytime has shortened, and it's already winter. So it's a little bit tricky because the coronavirus is rampaging in Canada, and it's already second wave. And we are having more curfew, more restriction.、Uh, we We were told to stay at home to reduce the spread of the virus. So I hope you guys take care of yourselves and、uh, maybe follow the protocols and、uh, trying to help the nation to recover.、Um, so yeah, let's stay at home and play Pokemon. So it is actually good news if you enjoy playing Pokemon or watch Pokemon videos, cause it kills a lot of time at home, right? Okay, cool. Without further ado, let's get into the game. All right, the last time we have challenged Sprouty four times. It's record-breaking. It's unprecedented. The battles were so tough, so devastating to us, and we kind of win in the end by luck, cause we use Flash to lower the accuracy of Heracross, and he somehow missed the attack twice, and that's the reason why Tailor could survive and able to、uh, strike back by using Wind Attack, and finally、uh, succeeded in winning the battle. So it was super close, and I was sweating. I was、uh, super nervous. You know the battle was so nerve-wracking, so intense. If you haven't seen the last episode, be sure to see that first, because that's the most exciting episode ever. All right, since we have win the gym badge, we're able to use Flash outside the battle. You know, I didn't explore the cave by muddling through everything in the dark because I I don't think that experience is nice、uh, to you guys to watch, and I just want to、uh, brighten the cave so we can see everywhere when we explore the cave. It's just more fun. All right, before going into the cave, I want to switch the Pokemon around.、Uh, first of all, let's put Torchic to the first place because we haven't used her for so long, so I kind of owe her some training. I really want to level her up. And in the meantime, Taylor is already level 19 because she was the MVP the last episode. She indeed grows a lot. And thank you, Taylor. And I will let you have a rest for this episode, maybe. And I want other Pokémon to have some opportunities to really grow up. Cool. We are back to the cave. Let's run. Oh. What is this, Makuhita? Nah. Ooh, we come to the second floor, or maybe the basement. I don't know. Are we going up or climbing down? <laughs> Anyhow, let's brighten it up. Cause now we are able to use flash. Let's use flash. Thank you, the stocks. See, everything is visible. Yeah, even though the vision is still blocked a little bit, but we are able to see everything. So then exploration will be more fun. <gasps> Ooh, it's Aaron. Interesting. Shall we catch this one? Hmm. I don't know. I believe we can run into,、uh, you know, irons with higher levels, cause this one just level nine. Ooh, whoa, what is that? Musla. Okay. Accuracy fell. No prob. Let's ember it out. Bye. You know, I believe we can meet Iron later, so let's catch the stronger ones. This is just level nine. All right, let's keep running. Ooh, what is this? Is that a waterfall or something? Okay, we're not able to climb it. Okay, branch. Where are we going? Oh, Pokeball. Lovely. Okay, what is this? Oh, another Aaron. Let's see the level. Okay, here is level ten. That's better. I wonder if there are higher level ones. This is level ten. Maybe we can find some level eleven, level twelve ones even. Okay. Uh, I'm not in a rush catching this one because we have already seen two Arons, and I believe we can see more. What? I'm not in a hurry. Ooh, Zubat! Shall we catch this? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna use Zubat. You know we can catch it. It doesn't hurt. Let's see how many Pokeballs we have. Leech life. What? 
Yeah, bug is not effective on fire. That's expected. Let's see how many bars we have. Oh, we have 12 Poké Bars, you know? We can have a catching spray here in the cave. Doesn't matter. Woo, we got it! The Zubat was caught. So while living in pitch black caverns, their eyes gradually grew shut and deprived them of vision. They used ultrasonic waves to detect obstacles. So pretty much, uh, it's very similar to bats in real life, biologically speaking, right? They usually live in the super dark caves and they don't have eyes actually. I think their eyes are underdeveloped or even not developed. And they, they use sand to tell the positions. They use ultrasonic and uh, you know, the waves are reflected from different positions and that's how they tell, oh, there are some obstacles in front of me so I won't fly into that. So yeah, that's what I have read from Wikipedia or, you know, a textbook. Anyhow, uh, we have another iron. Okay, let's just burn it down. I believe we can find stronger ones. You know what? Maybe as we go deeper into the cave, let's say we go to the third floor or, you know, more under. <laughs> I don't know. We are climbing down, climbing up at this moment. But I think we can find irons with higher levels. Another Zubat. So once we caught a Pokemon, you guys may notice there's a small Pokeball icon under the name of the Pokemon. Which indicates that we have already got this and the Pokedex has recorded all the data of the Pokemon. Ooh, Super Sonic. Crap. You know what? I'm gonna run. Yeah, in case I hit myself, it's not worth it. <laughs> Alright. Ah, come on, just let me go down. Okay, it's go down. Yeah. Actually, if you look at the ladder, it seems like going downstairs. Fantastic. All right. What is this? Oh, another iron. Let's see the level. <gasps> level 11. See, it's better. Alrighty. Let's see if we, if we can find level 12. I'm not quite sure yet, but it seems iron is everywhere. It's a pretty common Pokemon in the cave. So don't worry, we will find better ones. All right, is there anything attached on the rocks? I wonder. What's this? Another iron. Oh my god, it's everywhere. <gasps> Level 12! Did you guys see that? All right, let's catch this one. Oh, this is a girl. Ooh. Emberet, first of all. Not bad. All right. Pokemon! So Aaron, after it evolves, it becomes extremely ferocious. It's very strong, very mighty. Oh, hey, that's not very nice. Oh, oh my god. Oh, are we able to stand another headbutt? Or we need to switch out? I don't want Cortic to die. <laughs> yeah, this talks. <laughs> headbutt. It's fine. Let's use Pokeball. Okay, I will only use one more Pokeball on you. If you're so resistant, if you don't want to become my Pokemon, bye. Oh, okay, we got it. <gasps> All right, let's see the data. Pokemon that is clad in steel armor. A new suit of armor is made when it evolves. Oh, interesting. The old discarded armor is savaged as metal for making iron product. Oh. That's that's very interesting facts. Okay. We got Aaron. Oh, what's that? It's a rug to rock, but Pokemon may be able to smash it. Yeah, we need to learn rock smash to get rid of the rocks. Remember uh in the tunnel? I forgot the name of the tunnel. There are two boulders in the middle of the road and we couldn't get through the tunnel because of the rocks there. So we need to learn rock smash to clear them away so then we can pass the tunnel and get to the Verdander town if I remember correctly. Oh, another Aaron. Okay, we are a little weak to battle this, um, but we can use one ember and let's see. 
Hi, but <gasps> what is the order? Oh, oh, oh my, buddy. Okay, we need to use potion on Tortic. This is so close. Oh my. Alrighty, potion. Ah, we use potion on the rubber Pokemon. Ah, I didn't mean to restore the stocks. Ah, what a waste. It's only seven points. Uh, okay, okay. I just clicked too fast. <laughs> Alright, not enough. Uh, one more potion. Okay, awesome. So we're not able to smash the rocks. And let's go forward. Okay, another Zubat. Is there any other Pokemon in the cave? I keep running to like Zubat or Aaron, and uh, yeah, there's nothing more valuable. Ooh, level 16. Fantastic. We learned, uh, hold on. We learned pack. It's like, <laughs> I like that. Growl, focus energy. Okay, I hate focus energy. Well, I, I don't hate it. I just never use it. So focus energy helps you to uh, increase the critical hit ratio. Yeah. And it's like totally... <gasps> what? Oh, I remember. Torchix. <sighs> Torchix is evolving. Yeah, it's level 16 already. <gasps> totally forgot it. Woo! Ah! Becomes Kabisuke! <gasps> oh my god. Our first Pokemon evolves. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so speechless. Wow. Wow, you know this feels like I don't have children, but I guess if I became a parent in one day and see your child grows grows up, and when they become eighteen and they become a dot, I guess this kind of resembles that feeling. <laughs> Anyhow, Kabuskin is trying to learn double kick. Uh, yeah, double kick is a very decent move. You know, once the evolution occurs, basically Torch will obtain Fighting type, and. That's why double kick will be uh, super handy because yeah, it, it is fighting time anyway. <laughs> All right, let's forget about growl. Wow, Torch becomes so strong. You know, our little girl becomes a lady. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. This is so cool. This is the best part of this episode. Can Oh my god, look at that. Oh, I love this. Neat. Okay, let's try using Kambuskin for the battle. Let's see how strong she is now. Yeah. Kambuskin. Ooh. <laughs> uh, well, Double Kick is not effective at all on Zubat. Uh, let's try Pack. This is a new move. Ooh, lovely. Leech left. Nah, nah, nah. Probably just one point. Yeah. <laughs> And let's ember him out. Bye. Whew. You know, our team is stronger and stronger. Torchic becomes Combuscan. Wow, I wonder... You know what? Let's train out the Pokemons a bit. Because Combuscan is strong enough, I believe. Uh, we can use her for real battles. That's no problem. And she can knock down others in one shot or two shots at most. Uh, let's level up Rout a bit, because now he is super underleveled, and uh, yeah, he is not well trained compared to the rest of the team. So. Oh, anyhow, <laughs> she teleports away. <laughs> oh, I remember there's something on that rock. Yeah, it's Everstone. Cool. So Everstone essentially, it's not quite useful in this generation. So Everstone uh, will stop the Pokemon from evolving. So if you like certain Pokemon to be unevolved, let's say you really love Eevee, you don't want Eevee to evolve because you want to keep that cute shape and you know cute appearance, and you can have Eevee carry Everstone, then Eevee will no longer evolve. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how it. Oh, wow. We have climbed up. Oh, hey, caveman. <laughs> Thank you for giving me flash. 
So we have somehow come out of the darkness and we are on the top floor, maybe, of the cave. And let's see where we can go from here. Oh, okay, we have a Makita here. Ah, uh, let's knock him out. Bye! Yay, super effective, huh? Alrighty. Let's go this way. Oh, so we can jump back uh, from the ledges here. But now let's come this way. Hey! Who are you? Oh, he must be Steven. Yeah. Yeah, I remember this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so we'll travel here and there. Oh, a letter for me? Oh, finally! We have finished the service of the delivery man. Okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that. I need to thank you. Let me see, I will give you this TM. Contains my fairy remove, Steel Wing. Oh, thank you. Steel Wing. You, <laughs> you Pokemon appear quite capable. If they keep training, you can even become the champion of the Pokemon League one day. That's what I think. I know, since we've gotten to know each other, let's register one another in our Pokemon. Oh, so we have got a number of Steven. No, I've got to hurry along. See you. So you know Steven is a very popular figure of this game. First of all, he's the son of Devon's president, Mr. Stone, which means he's super wealthy. <laughs> he's like, you know, second gen of zillionaires or whatever. And second of all, he used to be the champion in Ruby and Sapphire when we played those two games. So he was extremely strong. And now in this version, he has some new stories. So we will meet Steven later in the game, and not only one time, and he will help us out. And he is very strong, very nice, and very approachable. So he doesn't seem like, a, you know, super rich or a champion. Actually, he's super easygoing. In fact, he quits being a champion later because he loves collecting rare stones and he doesn't want to be indoors accepting challenges all the time. So he actually recommends his friend to be the champion so he can go somewhere else and find all those precious stones. I hear that. I have no problem with our psychic type and they can feel poison type in no time. Bye bye! So it seems like we've finished the uh, adventure in Granite Cave. And we successfully delivered the letter to Steven, and as a reward, we got TM Steelwing. Oh, speaking of that, we can have some Pokemons learn that. For instance, Teodo. Teodo is able to learn Steelwing. Let's do that. I'm gonna run. So, let's find Steelwing. Where is that? There you go. TM47. S uh, spreads hard-edged wings and slams into the bowl. Cool. So let's find Teolo. Teolo is able to learn that. Quick attack, win attack, double team pack. Hmm. I think I'm gonna forget pack because double team is useful. Win attack quite powerful, and quick attack can move fast, a hundred percent. Well, well, unless you are slower than the Pokemon there, and that Pokemon uses quick attack as well. Uh, but that rarely happens. So quick attack. Uh, moves fast, 90% of the chance. And let's forget about pack. Neat. Okay, Teolo learned Steel Wing. Fantastic. Wow, the journey, uh, well, the adventure in the cave is quite rewarding and very fruitful, right? So we have evolved Torchic to Kimbuskan. And we have found Steven, and uh, we got Steven's phone number, and we got Steelwing, and Teolo uh, learned Steelwing. Ah, oh, come on, let me get out of the cave. <laughs> Alright, yay! So the adventure of Granite Cave is complete. So let's go to Pokemon Center first to restore our Pokemons. Then I guess we can move to the next city. I think we have finished all the businesses on this island. Yep, we have finished the exploration in the cave, we have challenged the gym, we've got the second batch. 
and Torchic evolves to uh, Combust Can. Everything is so brilliant. Cool. Let's go to the dock and find Mr. Brainy again. We need to set off. Such a busy light, huh? Hi, Mr. Brainy. Oh, for you, I will go out to sea anytime. Now, my friend, where are we banged? So, we can go to Slateport or Paddleburg. Um, I have to head back to Paddleburg first, because, yeah, there's something I need to pick up. You guys will find that out once I arrive there, and I will tell you how to get that super precious item. So, this is the item I will get every time I play Ruby Sapphire or uh, Amrat. Because that item is immensely helpful for our Pokemon training. Alrighty. Alright, so back to the cottage. Uh, so there is a little hassle because we need to go through the Paddleburg Woods. And uh, there might be a lot of wild Pokemons jumping at us. Uh, let me... Ah! Okay, let me move slowly because if you run through the grass and you have a higher chance to uh, bump into any wild Pokemons. Yeah, the experience is too little. Okay, let's avoid the grass here. Already. Hey, long time no see, but catcher. Ah! <laughs> I'm so close of getting out of the grass. Oh, another uh, cascoon. Routes get to level 13. Oh, that's fantastic. Alright, Route 104. Hey, super rich guy. Hey, girl. Oh, somebody is calling us? Who is that? Beef. It's Roxanne? Oh my god, why does she why is she calling me? Hey, hello Billy! This is Roxanne of Rustport City! I heard from Brownie that you're moving up through the ranks of trainers at an incredible clip. Well, I'd rather not think that I can beat you. I promise I will shape up my gym so far you my challenges again. I hope you will be looking forward to that occasion as much as me. Of course, I want to have rematch with other gym leaders at a point. Oh god, hey twins. Long time no see. Hey fisherman. Hey lady. Long time no see. Cool, we're back to Rustboard City. And there's something we need to pick up, which is super incredible important to us. So essentially, after you deliver the mail or the letter to Steven, then you come back to Rustport City, and you get into the Devon's building, and you come to the third floor, you talk to the president, Mr. Stone. Oh, you delivered my letter? Thank you kindly. This is my way of thanking you. Should we help you, a trainer? So we can obtain XP share. So the EXP share is like a learning machine for weak Pokemons in the team. So as long as they have these items with them, they can share their experiences for all the battles. So in other words, you can have the stronger Pokemons to get engaged in the battles because they have a higher chance to win and it saves a lot of time. You don't have to scratch or tackle, right? So they can finish the battle very fast. But uh, the weaker Pokemons who have the experience share with them can share experience. So we don't have to force the weak Pokemons to battle, then switch back the strong Pokemons, you know, repeat that process. It's super time consuming and takes a lot of efforts, right? A Pokemon holding that experience share will be given some of the experience points for battle. It will get experience points even if it didn't actually battle. I wish the experience share is quite useful for raising weak Pokemon. You made the point. Yeah, thank you for that instruction anyway. Way. But this is so precious. Yeah, this is such a helper. This dramatically helps us, you know, reduce the time of training weak Pokemons and it helps us balance the team. Yeah, this one has just a myriad of benefits, and I couldn't explain that. You guys will know it once we are using Experience Share in the real battles. So, that being said, uh, we have. So, who is the weakest actually? Uh, Routes right now is a little weak. You know, we can have Routes have the experience share. Hold on, wait a sec. We have some weak Pokemon in the box. Maybe we should train them up a bit. Uh, oh, that's the personality guy. <laughs> yeah, we have talked to him already. Alright. 
So let's deposit one of the Pokemons and get some weak Pokemons out of the box and give them experience share so they can participate in, not necessarily participants, but they can be rewarded with some experience from the battles. Cool, who is the highest right now? I think Teolo can be stored for a while because, yeah, I mean, she has battled a few times and now she is level 19. Cool, let's store her or him. I think it's it's a boy. Oh, I keep forgetting their genders. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's a girl. Anyhow. All right. So we have Aaron. We have uh, Zubat. That's the two newbies in a box. And we have Abra, which we caught uh, in the last episode. And we have uh, so many other Pokemon. Oh, Puccina. I'm sorry, Puppy. I'm going to train you this time. <laughs> yeah. Let's withdraw Puccina. <laughs> I really should train her up because... She has been with us for a long time, but we, yeah, she didn't have the chance to uh, get good training for such a long time. So, okay, let's get Puccina out and let's give her the, the item. Let's give uh, experience share to her. Where's that? There you go, experience share. And yeah, she's holding uh, orange berry. We don't need orange berry for her. Cool, fantastic. Now she has the experience share. So let's demonstrate how this item is used in the real battles. For instance, if I go to, let's go back to the Paddleburg Woods. I mean, we need to go to Slateboard City anyway. And uh, on the way there, I guess I can find one of the wild Pokemons and show you guys how to use experience share. Many of you already know that, of course. You know, nowadays, all the Pokemon- Hey, a Shroomish! I think we should catch him. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to kill this. I, I want to catch this one. Uh, Confusion. Wow, I don't think he can stand one Confusion. Yeah, that's not possible. Let's just catch him right away. Um, Premier Ball, Great Ball. Let's use Pokeball first. Uh, if it doesn't work out, and we might have to use Great- Hey! Absorb. All right. Okay, this may take a little while. Uh, let's use Puccina because she's the weakest. Okay, let's tackle him a few times and uh, lower his HP a bit. So he got weakened and it's easier for us to catch him. I don't want to waste, you know, a few Pokeballs on him. Let's tackle it. Or absorb. Ah, oh, but he keeps absorbing us, so his HP is going back. Uh, this is absolutely annoying. You know what? Uh, okay, one more Pokeball. It's fine. Okay, please. Come on, don't waste my boss. <laughs> Alright, we got Shroomish. Dun, dun, dun. It loves to eat damp, composted soil in forests. Ew, it sounds disgusting. If you enter a forest after a long rain, you can see many shroomish feasting on composted soil. Ew, it sounds gross, but kind of makes sense because I think this one is originated from mushroom or anything. I mean, inspiration-wise. So mushroom usually grows on the you know, rotten trunks or uh, some really dirty places. They, yeah, they are bacteria anyway, right? Biologically speaking. Uh, all right, I promised you guys I'm gonna show you how experience share works. You know, let's demo it by killing this Mario. <laughs> Sorry, Mario. You'll be my lab rats. Whoa. Oh, confusion. Please attack yourself. So let's focus. Hey, it's not okay, not yet. One more confusion. So after the battle is over, let's look at the experience. So Rouse should gain some experience and Puccina should be able to get the other half of the experience as well. So Rouse gained 20 and Puccina got the other 20. Yep. So essentially that's how the learning machine, excuse me, experience share, I keep calling that learning machine. That's how it works. All right. Hey, I need to sail again, sorry. I know you really enjoy drowning here and chasing your Pico, but I need to talk to you. <laughs> All right. I know exactly what you want to say. You are, uh, you are to deliver package to Captain Stern in Slateboard. 
What I need me to do is no problem at all. I'm the man for the job. First, we'll set sail for Dewport. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Sorry, I'm mimicking his voice. I've got to stop. <laughs> Dewport it is, then. Anchors away. He called us and he sailed, my darling. All right, we are going to continue the journey again. Thank you for providing the transportation. I don't know how can I get to the next city without you, Mr. Granny. So in order to get to Slateport, we need to get to Dewford first as a you know transition point. <laughs> Alright, awesome! So we're back to Dewford. Hey! When he let it do for you just go on and tell me whatever you want to say sail again. Now <laughs> Okay, let's go to slide board. But yeah, we go out and see any night now, my friend. Where are we banged? Slate board, thank you. Woo! See the other direction! We are going to a new city, so exciting. Wow, look at how many trainers there. And there is a sunken ship somehow. Ah, we came to a new place! Oh, well, they let us sleep aboard. I suppose you're going to visit Captain Stud and deliver that deadly goods. Yeah, thank you for reminding me of that. Oh my god, holy moly, there's so many trainers on this beach. You know what? We need to wrap up, we need to prepare for all the fights. Um, Pachina is there, cool. You know, let's fight the first trainer and to test the water. I don't know how strong their Pokemon are and, uh, you know, uh, how high the levels are and uh, cool. Let's challenge the first. So this is a sailor, right? Hey, you couldn't see me? I'm this close to you. Come on, what are you looking at? <laughs> cool. <laughs> I've laid anchor in ports around the world. If a slave port is the best. All right, first battle on this new land. Let's do some warm up exercise. Ooh. Okay, the sailor looks quite mighty. <laughs> hmm. Routes. Okay, level 14 is not too terrible. Yeah, I think our Pokemons are around that. Yeah, well, level 16, level 15. Okay, it's alright. We should be able to defeat most of them. <laughs> ah, keep using Growl. It, it, it doesn't work. You know, Confusion is special attack and Growl lowers my physical attack. It's completely, you know, different category. Yeah. Oh, Puccina grew to level 9. See, that's how experience share works. So Puccina doesn't have to join the battle, but she still gets the experience. And she learns sand attack. Oh my god, that's so lovely. Matchup. Oh, it's weak to psychic type. Confusion. All right, we defeated the sailor. You're the best. In the best port was the best trainer. Anyhow, all right. You know what? It takes a while to defeat all the trainers. I think I'm gonna do that in the next episode. It may take us 20 minutes to talk to everyone and defeat all of them. And one of the agendas in the next episode is to find Captain Stern in Slateboard City. And we have another package to deliver. <sighs> Such a busy life as a courier, right? So there's a lot to unfold in the next episode. Be sure to stay tuned. And I will see you guys the next time. Please take care and catch more Pokemons. See you.